Welcome to the support videos for workload automation video series. In this video, I will discuss how to use ORB Configure in the Enterprise Manager Windows Client to define a range of ports. Enterprise Manager is configured to use a random range of ports. You may instead want to define a range of 20 ports that can be open for access. As an example of why you may want to do this, look at page 212 of the admin guide. If EM is behind a firewall, then you can use the utility or be configure to use a range of ports instead of using a random range. Or a configure uses a graphical interface. It requires an X server and X client in order to manage the screens. In case your OS system doesn't have an X server or X client, I would like to demo how to move the file that is needed to be updated to your Windows client and use ORB configure there to update the file. The name of the file that gets updated by the ORB configure utility is config.xml. The location of the config.xml file is in the EM default path slash etc slash domains. If you use the TAO internal configuration file, you'll need to also get this file from location em default slash etc. The file name is client underscore server dot conf. Get that file and send it to your client machine. The files have been moved to the em client machine. You notice that I call the files dot lemur. So when I use the ORB configure utility, it'll be easy to locate. The ORB configure utility expects to find the XML files in a specific location. I will now copy the config.xml file from Lemur to that location. The location I need to copy the file to is the EM client default path slash etc slash domains. From a command prompt, I changed the directory to the location of the ORB configure, which is the EM default path slash bin. And then I will execute the ORB configure utility. Now that we are on the ORB configure screen, we can select the configuration file we got from the lemur system. We're using the TAO internal configuration file. So I'll now select that one. Or we move from Lemur. Now we can set the ports from random to range. We'll set a range of 20 ports. And then we'll click next. We will keep these original settings and then we'll click next. Here you will see a summary of the configuration file. Now we will click finish, which will save the file. This is the file that was updated by the ORB configure utility, copied to the location where I have my work files. Well, now copy back the file that was updated by the ORB configure utility. You notice that I have two files here, one that was updated by the ORB configure utility and another which is an original copy of the XML. Because the lemur system was a Unix system and we updated the ORB configure utility from a Windows system, we now need to check the pass statements inside of the file that we're going to send back. We look at the two files side by side. This is the file that was updated by the ORB configure utility. Notice the pass statements. Compare them to the original file. Be sure to set the pass statements back like they were with the original file.
and save that. And now we'll take that configuration file, we'll move it back to the lemur system. I've copied the config file that we updated in the M client. Now I've copied it back to the lemur system under the original name. The next steps will be to cycle the EM components. Stopping EM should be a plant outage. First you'll go into the Control M Configuration Manager. You will stop all the Enterprise Manager components. You will then come to the Root Menu, which is what we're looking at here. You'll do a Stop All, allow everything to stop. Then you'll do a Start All. Once all the EM components have been restarted, including in the CCM, you can then do an ORB admin NS space list and you'll see the new port being used. I'd like to thank you for taking your time to watch this support video for workload automation.